So you've been without water for how long now? About three weeks. Yeah, I don't think you're being of help, man, to be honest with you. I think you're you're copping out. $3,000 they took from an 80-year-old lady without doing any of the work. It's pure negligence. I never thought I would have to do this. Barrett Pest Control has no business doing rat extermination. Here's the hard facts. And if you stay to the end, I'm gonna give you some inside tips to protect you from companies like this. Janet? David? Yes, how are you? So what's going on here? Oh my God. I had a flood in the beginning of January. They have gone through the water pipes three times. The, so, the rats have chewed through the water pipes right. three times. So you've been without water for how long now? About three weeks. Can we open this up here? Sure, Okay. Sure. The pest control company that you hired, which you said they had stellar reviews, didn't mean a thing. No, it didn't. It didn't. And that shocked me. They promised me the world, and so I went for it. I just signed wherever they told me to sign. It was electronic signatures, but there was nothing above it. So, like, I would say, what am I signing? And then they would tell me, and I would sign it. But I trusted them. And then they said they do, like, three things. The first things were to eradicate the mm -hmm. racks. Second thing was to seal the mm -hmm. house. And the third thing would be to do the cleansing and the repairing, mm -hmm. sanitizing. So far, they caught two rats. That's pathetic. They're chewing on my wires. I mean, it, it's just been... So they've, they've lied to you for sure. Oh my goodness gracious. We tried calling them. We tried to help. They promised that they would call us back. They never did. Wow. When was the last time you heard one? The night before last. Look at all the openings that they supposedly closed up. Rats have just been traveling on top of these pipes. That's all the sieve and what we call the rat grease. Look at that, how thick that is. None of these rat traps are being activated. Look at their air conditioning. Jeez. Oh, that's gross. I think we'll drop these off back to the pest control company. And we're gonna have a little chat with them. Oh, okay. Is that where they said that it was coming in? They were coming in yes, from? Yes, that was one of them. I caught one in here. How long ago? Less than a week. Was this set? Uh, yes. Well, they took the bait on that one. You can see the markings, the rat markings here. And then look at this, wide open. So the other pest control company sealed that up, but why didn't they seal this up? There's like those black vents right there. Yeah, yeah. One's chewed through and there's a bunch of droppings. No way. We just showed up. I'm only dealing with a four foot ladder here. I got a bad feeling about this. Maybe I get up right here. Can you hold my hand here, Justin? <laughs> oh, okay, hold on. Okay. Yeah, no way. How did you do it, man? I don't know. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah, your shoulder. Victor's shoulder, guys. Hey, Victor, make sure you come back. Yeah, how are you gonna get down? <laughs> <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Phew, God, I can smell it from here. See all these droppings? Oh yeah. This goes right into the attic. Okay, hold on. I'm coming. There's a rat right in that channel. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. You gotta record it. I know. Here. Oh my. Okay. Oh my. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Let me do that. There we go. My foot, put my foot right there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just hold my buns. I mean my legs. <laughs> okay. So. Okay. So. Look at his tail, you guys. Look. Look at him. I'm gonna move a little bit. Okay. Look, look at tail. him. Look at him. Look at the tail. There he goes. He runs out. He ran out. He ran out. There he goes. Oh. Oh. Get him. He's around here. He's around. He's here. around here, you guys. Where did he go? Yeah. Oh, he's gone, dude. He's gone. We'll get him next time. Yeah, see, that's the hole right there into the attic, you guys, right there. Unbelievable. I can't believe the other pest control companies missed that. Look at how obvious. Look at that. So we're gonna temporarily seal this up tonight. I don't like to do this, but this pest control company that took on this job is gonna regret it. Watch. Where do you keep the pet food? 
I keep it in containers in the kitchen. You feed them a certain time and then you remove the food? I do. Okay. I feed them Very in the important that we do that, especially in the trapping stages, okay? Oh, what a cute dog. <laughs> oh, they're adorable. Puppies. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> they're called the Havanese. They're from Cuba. They're from Cuba? Yeah. They're a big dog and a little body. Oh. You could take one home in a couple of weeks. I have my hands full with my dog. I think my girlfriend might kill me if I did. <laughs> I'll take two. All right, so now that we've got that blocked off, we're going to set up some real rat traps here. Victor's all excited about using uh, Slim Jim here, but I've had some success with this 88 acre sea salt with seeds and oats, and I blend it in with the peanut butter, rub it in here like this. I forgot to mention our bait tugger. Just pack it in there. There's no way they're going to grab that without activating. These bait tuggers have activated these traps so much faster. I've got my special mix here, peanut butter and oats and seeds. And then uh, Victor went against me and he goes, nah, I'm going to go with the Slim Jim. What bait do you think is going to catch oh, your rats? I'm going to have to go with him. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you, because I was ready to walk out of here. And pick your... I'm going to set that up right there. Peanut butter and oats right by the drywall. And then the Slim Jim is right here. I've got a camera right there. How early can we start tomorrow? Early as you want. Okay. What do you want for breakfast? <laughs> a few moments later. So you just heard the rat trap? Because we literally just left like five minutes ago. I know. At first I didn't. I thought, what fell? And then I realized what it was. Okay, do you know which one they hit? It was you. There you go. Let's go, baby. <laughs> We got it. We'll be back in about 10 minutes to pull them out. And that's how it's done. Look at this shot, you guys. Look at this. There's the peanut butter one right there. About 10 minutes later, we caught him. That's exciting. We're headed back. He's trying to pick his bait here. Does he want the Slim Jim or peanut butter? Well, at least he considered it. <laughs> he considered it, but he says, you know, I'm smelling something much better over here. Boom. See, if this was a normal trap, the likelihood of him getting away right, right. Is, is about a 60% chance. Yes. Most of all the traps that they set were either deployed or never touched. It wasn't effective. Okay. And look at we've only been here for 20 minutes and we already caught one. Oh, it looks like a chinchilla. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it just, just smashed him right on the head there. Beautiful thing. And that's the other thing with our traps, is it nails them right at the perfect area here. That's a big boy. Yeah. Okay, we're fully activated again. Day two. All right, day two. This is going to be a long day. My goal is to get that attic cleaned up and get these water pipes fixed so we can get the water back on here for Janet. Yesterday was extraordinary. Within 20 minutes, we caught Two rats, we found their entry point, super happy. So today's a long day. We still have to deal with that pest control company. All right, let's take a look at the catch. Yeah. Look at that catch, guys. That's hundreds and hundreds of hours of losing rats. Rat traps flipping over to this right here. Check the pipes out here, they chewed. Let's get started. Someone's got to do it because Barrett ain't doing it. Janet, will you do me a favor? Sure. Will you call Barrett? Let him know that you heard a snap last night, which is true. Sure. Okay. 
Okay, we're ready for Barrett Pest Control to come out. I just want them to witness everything that we've done. More importantly, what they missed. I'm trying to get Janet's money back because she is owed every single penny. So much contamination cleaned up. It was oh really, God. really bad. We're gonna go in and sanitize hydrostatic fog, the, all the wood and stuff with our enzyme. But we scrubbed all of the pipes. We scrubbed, sanitized the air conditioning unit, everything. Hey, Matt, uh, this is Janet. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I yes, heard a couple of snaps. You wanna okay. come, come out and see what we have? Uh, I've got uh, a three to five in McKinney, uh, but then I'll, I'll swing by. Is that uh, okay? Yeah, that's fine. Look at all the bags of trash we took out of the attic. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's pretty gross. Awesome, man. Smells like a fresh orange. I know. Uh, Breathe up here now. <laughs> so much cleaner, you guys. All right, we're gonna focus on the plumbing now. Sweep this out here. We love this concrete because it's um, waterproof, doesn't crack, it dries fast, and it dries really, really hard and solid. So, good product. Okay, we're ready to turn the water on after three weeks. I hope there's no other leak here, but the only way we're gonna find out is turning on the water. We're all keeping our fingers crossed. Get all the air out of the system. Okay, how are you doing? There you go. Can you leave it right there for a sec? Oh, shoot, guys. Oh, hold this, yeah. Yeah, let me grab it, I'll just grab it. Oh, my okay. Go get some racks. <laughs> that right there, you guys, was shooting right through the shower door. Oh. Scared Cole so bad he peed his pants. <laughs> we got water. I'm so excited. You have no idea. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. So you see the pipes? These, this is PEX. We put all copper pipes because okay. I didn't want to take a chance. Oh my God. Thank you. Okay. Everything's pretty much done. We're just waiting now for Matt with Barrett Pest Control Company so we can show them the negligence. We can show them what we did so they understand they have to take accountability for this. Again, I'm not here to be cocky, but weeks ago, my brother reached out to them, tried calling them. The supervisor promised us a call back. We never got a call back. Janet has made multiple calls, no return phone calls. This is why we're going to this extreme. So hopefully Barrett will uh, do the right thing because that's all we want. The question is, should I do this undercover? This is Dave's Pest Control here. You want to see what's going on here at this job. I think I'll keep it professional. A few moments later. Okay, he's here. How y'all doing? Oh, good. How you doing? Goodness so. gracious. Got a couple of them. Yeah. Okay. So a couple things here. I had to come out because she's she's been without water for three weeks. Right. Like, mm -hmm. You guys charge her like three thousand five hundred dollars for this work? I'd have to look at it, but yeah. It's twenty eight. Okay. Twenty eight hundred dollars. Okay. Okay. So let me show you what, yeah, what you guys yeah, what yeah. you guys yeah. missed. Yeah, please. Matt, do you want me to? You want these? They're all yours. Yeah, we need to remove those. Those traps are not right. effective. Okay. They're not working, man. All right. Okay. The rats chewed. Chewed in they chewed in through here, uh -huh. and when I found this, I ran a camera up through here, okay. and there was a rat up here, and we chased him out. We sealed all this up. Okay. I set my rat traps up last night, and right. within 10 minutes, boom, boom, caught yeah. them both. Okay. All I'm asking is, and I've called your, my brother called your office uh, like a week oh, and a half ago. Okay. I didn't know that. And said, hey, can what? you, can yeah, you at what least... They Oh, yeah, oh we're, we're going to have a supervisor call you within 24 hours. Okay. It's been a week and a half. He keeps calling. She's been call, contacting your office as well. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm trying to do for her before it escalates is mm -hmm. just trying to get some of her money back. Yeah, I understand. Would you take... Yeah. take yeah, I mean, I, I, can, I can talk to my manager. Okay. And then you know, have, send an email uh, to all the managers. The branch manager, uh, my manager, Susan manager, service manager, everybody. Okay. Hey, we need to... We need to look at this. We need to get on this. Okay. And then take a look at this. Because that's what, but that's what they've been saying though. 
I just want to make sure that she's taken care of. Right. I mean, this was a, I mean, three weeks without water, and you guys missed this. Right. Yeah. It's, it's not fair on her. No, no. And I appreciate you no, being yeah. respectful. Oh, I, well, really, of course, I really of do. I really do. It, no, mean, yeah. it means yeah. a lot. It well, really we'll does. Because do she was saying that your protocol is that you guys set up traps first to try to get them out, and then yeah, you that. come back and seal. Them. Normally, you come out and you trap and seal the same day. Okay. And, then, and then you're next time out you're sanitizing but it really depends on the workload all dakota had to do was move all of those contents the doghouse and all of that and he was found it but he didn't none of that's been moved in so long yeah. but the main thing here and it sounds yeah, like you're very sincere and i yeah, and just, i appreciate just trying, that just trying to get the money it's back just get point. their money back yeah. you know i mean i think that's just the right thing to do just because she's been without water for three weeks and yeah. it's pure negligence Right. So you'll send a, a message to all the managers yeah, then? I'm, yeah, I'm typing it up right now. Now, what if we don't get a response within a reasonable time? We do have like video documentation of the hole before we concrete it. Okay. So if they need more proof, yeah, I mean, I've, yeah, I've got yeah, all yeah, of that you too. Have that. Can you send it to me? Yeah. Sure, that, sure. That's like a new one too. Okay. Okay. Because I mean, that falls, kind of falls on me, to be honest. I mean, because when I, when I was out here, I mean, I went around. I, hey, I mean, I that's just, accountability. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're gonna that's, own it, you own no, it. No, no, it's going a lot better than I expected. So we know that there's a lot of activity in the backyard. You know, she's got dogs. So we got to be mindful of that. Victor found some rat grease right here. So this is a heavy, heavy runway, and we decided to do it horizontally. So let's mount this like this. Here we go. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Well, you always were a bit of an engineer. <laughs> Good job, guys. Hey, Dave, I think you need to do the rat dance. I agree. I think that's a great yeah. idea. This for sure deserves the rat dance. And Matt, because you were an amazing human being that came out here and took some accountability, I dedicate this rat dance to you. You're going to want to hear about this one. Day three. All right, guys, we're back the next day. You can see we caught a rat. How did that work? Hi, Janet. Hi, Barrett. Well, it's been several days, more than four days. Has Matt got a hold of you or Barrett? No, no. Unbelievable. Can you give me his number here? Really had a lot of faith in Matt. He seemed to be sincere, but he hasn't even made an attempt to just give her any update that, hey, I took this back to management. I did email him the requested photos, never returned my email. So we're gonna give him a call and see if there's any update on the status of uh, Janet's refund here. Oh, this should be good. Hey Matt, this is David, Janet's nephew. Hey, David. Hey, we haven't heard from you or anybody what the status is. Okay, I'll call my manager and uh, see what's going on. Uh, well, did, did you bring it up to them? Oh yeah. And what did they say? I mean, they, they were gonna look at it, but I mean, they weren't, I don't think they're gonna get anything they're gonna be able to do on it, that the work's already been done. You're saying because the work was done, and that's a joke. Yeah, the well, work wasn't done. But, well, hang on, hang on, it's just a work. But you even admitted that you made, you guys made a big mistake, and you didn't find that entry point. Well, I didn't find the entry point that was covered up when we were leaving and behind it. You're making a big mistake because there's film and pictures of all of it. And you can tell your manager that too. Yeah, and I'd ask to, to have that sent over. Um, have have y'all tried to send it over to me? Yeah, I emailed it to you the day you asked for it. I followed through with my word. Who's the manager over there? Uh, Chris. Chris? Yeah, I don't think you're being of help, man, to be honest with you. I think you're you're copping out. Let me just try one last time with your, your management, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna call her right now. I mean, if you'd like, I can call you back. No, I'm gonna call her. I'm gonna call her right now. Okay. All right, okay. Okay. Hello, it's Grady at Barrett Home Services. This is Emily speaking. How can I make your day better? Hi, Emily. Are you okay with a recorded line? I'm at work and it's a recorded line. Yeah, that's all right. Oh, okay, perfect. Is there a manager that we can talk to in regards to the project? We've been dealing with uh, Matt. We just need to talk to a, a manager in regards to this project here. Did you know that Barrett Pest Control has been in business for over 21 years? We specialize in successfully treating residential and commercial accounts to perfection. Don't take my word for it. Look us up on the BBB, Yelp, Google, Facebook, and Angie's List. We exterminate the competition with our award-winning service. 
He's already dead, David. I did give her a call. She did ask if you'd be willing to give her a call. Okay, we'll give her a call right now. Thank you. You've reached Chris with Barrett Pest Control. I can't get the phone right now. Just leave me a message. Jesus. Well, it ended up Matt not being a man of his word. So I ended up elevating it and calling Chris, his manager, who basically took no accountability, not gonna give a dollar back to Janet. $3,000 they took from an 80 year old lady without doing any of the work other than setting 25 rat traps that were not effective. Took them three weeks and it took us to come out and solve this. And what Chris, the manager stated, we don't move dog houses because it's too much of a liability. And when I said, well, wait a minute, forget about the dog house, which is only guys what you saw in the video, a little three foot by 18 inch dog house. Anybody could just slide that over. But I said, well, wait a minute. This was in the corner, Chris. There was just some little leaves there that could have been moved. Well, we don't move leaves. I, I'm shocked. And leave in your comments, guys, what you feel about this. Am I overreacting? Am I being just absolutely ridiculous? I'm pretty upset, but I would love to hear from you. But what I'm more pissed about is the fact that they would take a signature, electronic signature, and not give any copies to the customer. That they charge the full amount of the job without doing any of the work. So if you're a homeowner watching this, never ever pay anybody in full until the job is done. And if you're gonna hire Barrett Pest Control, make sure they put in writing that they guarantee to solve your rat issue within 10 days or less. If not, do not hire them, guys. I'm telling you, I hate doing this. I'm not a person to be vindictive, but this right here is something that I'm not going to accept. So Matt, I retract the rat dance, and this rat dance is dedicated to Janet. Thank you.